Hey everybody, it's Ophelia Dragone here from Atomic Monsters. Got a thrifting haul video for you. We had just quite the adventure today, Melanie and I. Uh, we hit an antique mall we go to sometimes, and I actually managed to meet the, uh, the guy who runs my favorite stall there, usually where I wind up getting my He-Man figures. Uh, and we got some, some good hauls there. We went to two Goodwills, and Goodwill seems to be restructuring to mostly clothes and clothing and less toys and less uh, videos and less music, which is sad. Um, but we also went to Value Village and had a really surprisingly good haul today at Value Village. I'm gonna start out with the stuff from the antique mall. First of all, we got some stuff for, for Melanie's turtle collection. We got her Tran uh, Triceraton, a Mondo Gecko, and I believe this one is Genghis Frog. I might be wrong. I'm not hugely aware of each of the frogs. I think that one's Genghis. Also got myself an Orco. And a uh, Leader One from GoBots, who's in really good shape except for uh, a break on the arm, but that's easy to fix. And I got, managed to get a deal that was Good for both of us, I find, and uh, it was really nice to finally meet the guy in person who's been, su who, who's been supplying me with my, uh, with my He-Man figures. I got my Snake Mountain there uh, for a really good price a couple months ago, and I came in to see if they had a Castle Grayskull. They said he just sold it. So I'm pretty sad on that, but I'm pretty happy for all of these. Oh, we got... Uh, Melanie collects these particular piggy bags. This is Freya. Say hi, hi Freya. And we now have another one to add to her collection, which is really sweet. And we now have an angry cat. <laughs> <laughs> and also some clothing. Put your clothing up right there. Yeah. More clothing. Bag for you, huh? Yep. For this, this, for five dollars, we got a baggie of, of Funkos, which is really sweet. We worked out to a dollar each, and the only one that we really have no interest in is the museum on these. Mm -hmm. The only one we really don't care about is the the uh, hockey player. The rest we're pretty excited for. They're going to go right in our collection. Yeah, we don't really care about him. Nobody loves me. Nobody loves me. No, we just don't like hockey. If he had a Maple Leafs jersey on, I'd keep him. <laughs> it's close. I don't even know what jersey that is. I think it's... Uh, Lightning. Tampa Bay Lightning? Yeah. Is that right? I think so. That's a... That's how much we know about hockey. A, that's a sports ball club, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Um, also picked up the Flash Gordon cereals on DVD, which makes me really happy. And then the best finds of the day, uh, other than like the stuff at the, the, the vintage mall, but the like really stellar thrifting finds, uh, came from the last value village we hit. First picked up some CDs. I got a Nine Inch Nail remix album of Perfect Drug. Where's the CD from that? Did it fall inside the box? Oh no. It was in there. It was in there. Must be must have fallen inside the surprise box for later. We'll have to check it out. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know it's in there. Um, these two Punko Rama mixes, which have uh, some really good music on them that we are really happy to find. I got cat pee on me at Value Village. I picked up a CD that I thought would look really cool. And I had had dirt on it. It was this yellowish dust. I thought it was dust. And I go wipe it off. And then I smell it. And I get cat pee all over me. But uh, everything worked out in the end. <laughs> Those ones are in there. I got Queens, uh, Queens of the Stone Age. And uh, the Best of Gowan. Well, I have a an appreciation for Canadian rocker, 
Chores with Sticks, replacing Dennis DeYoung, making more for a much better band. Then we got these, this baggie of noise. We have animals killing each other. Then we found a baggie of Mark's figures. Still with the stickers on them as well. Really nice, they were $1.99 each. Except for they had more than one baggie of these. They had about 40 baggies of these. And we managed to get a deal on them. Even though they're $2 each, we managed to get this entire box for about 40 bucks. And that was the amazing find. I don't, bit, I don't collect marks myself, but I know people who do. And uh, that's gonna make some people really happy and really excited about all of these marks figures. There's so many of them. We sent pictures to my business partner, Heather, and she was freaking out because she likes marks. And uh, once I get them to her, which may take a month or two, they're gonna wind up on our store. You can find the link to our store on eBay uh, down at the bottom. Uh, probably within a month to two months after uh, I post this video, if you're looking for Mark's figures, either hit me up, I might have them still, or they'll be in our store. Anyways, that's it for Atomic Monsters today. Have a great day.